everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today, Kwamo's daughter kicks against Igbo's movement. Igbo is a self acclaimed Yoruba activist who has been fighting relentlessly against killer headsmen in the southwest region, which are the Yoruba states. Kwamo's daughter, Gami Marshall, has kicked against Igbo's movement, revealing those donating money to the popular Yoruba activist Sonny Bo will not know peace. This came after a group of supporters of the activists set up a GoFundMe page to raise £100,000, 51.8 million naira. The UK-based blogger and activist Maureen Badijo initiated the fundraising review that the 51.8 million naira is to help Sunday Blue to buy buses to implement his project of reading the southwest of killer headsmen. Already, £9,515, 4.9 million naira has been raised within 19 hours from 267 donors. Reacting to this development, Dami outrightly condemned the act, revealing all those who want to set Nigeria on fire will not know peace. And these were her words. Anyone donating money from any part of the world in order to set Nigeria on fire will never know peace. It took us a lot to get here. Please do not take us back. Don't kill my dream because of your own ignorance. As a student of history, I know the cost of the last Ife Mudakeke crisis, where this Sunday bull was said to be an active participant. All of those interviewing him and amplifying the war he is calling for should be subject of interest to the DSS if the DSS still knows its duties. In my life, I don't support nonsense. Go and read section 43 of the 1999 constitution. One Nigeria, the country as a whole belongs to all of us. Every media establishment that repeatedly calls on the boy a Yoruba activist is playing part to cause ethnic crisis in the southwest in order to extract political value from it. Every one of them. I'm 100% Yoruba, but I will never support anyone that wants to cause war. The Igbo man is my brother. The Hausa is my brother too. Case closed. This was what Kwamwon's daughter wrote to the on her social media platform. Also, some has to go. The only of you fair reply Sunday Igbo, who called him out yesterday with some Yoruba political leaders. The only of you fair, any Tongusi, described the comments made against him by the acclaimed Yoruba warlord, Sonia Adeyemo, popularly known as Sonia Igbo, as irresponsible. In an exclusive telephone interview with Premium Times, Mr. Ogunwusi, who spoke through his spokesman, Moses Olafari, said the palace was not ready to engage Mr. Adeyemo formally on the matter, but the issue of the threat of violence against the monarch will be handled appropriately. Mr. Ade Miemo, while taking part in the virtual town hall on Wednesday morning with Nigerians in the diaspora, attacked some Southwest leaders, including the former Lagos state governor, Bola Tinubu, Oyo state governor, Shima Kede, and traditional rulers, including Olu Wavivu, Abdul Rashid Akombi, and the only, he accused the only of receiving dollars from President Muhammad Buhari when he visited the presidential villa recently and condemned the monarch's comments while addressing the media at the villa. Sonny Bo described the Yubali leaders as Lily Levert and called them Fulani slaves. He also threatened to relay open fire on them or visit and vandalize their properties. The monarch said no true Yoruba son or daughter would speak in such manner as Mr. Adeyemo has spoken, saying his conduct and attitude cast doubt on his true intention in his self styled responsibility of defending the Yorubas. The only spokesman, Mr. Lafari said, Mr. Adeyemo was going overboard in his conduct, that he should not believe that he's bigger than the authorities. This was exactly what he said. We have not made any official statements on the matter, and the matter does not really make any sense to us. If somebody who identifies himself with the cause of Yoruba could be talking in that manner about the only who is in this Putably, a spiritual head of the race, then one must wonder whether or not the person has been representing us truly. It gives room to people to suspect your motive. For a man claiming to be defending a race to be attacking the same people you claim you are defending, leaves much to be desired. And then, speaking on the allegation that the monarch collected money from the president, the spokesman said the allegation is not only responsible but also lacks substance. And this was what he said. He made some very responsible allegations. You know when you make allegations that you cannot back up with evidence. That can only portray you as an irresponsible man. If you make unfounded allegations, then you want to use allegations to further justify your claims as the generalism of the race. It is up to the public. It is so unfortunate. If you say the only has collected money, I said to him to show evidence. You say he has collected dollars. Irresponsible allegation is irresponsible allegation. If you cannot back up whatever you allege with acceptable evidence, this was what Mr. Olafari said. And he added that in the support of the people Mr. Adeyemo is currently enjoying in his onslaught against some criminals that infiltrated the Southwest is not out of the blues. 
He, however, cautioned him against reckless comments and allegations, saying that they do not portray him as a cultured Yoruba man with moral values and virtues. And he said, if you are doing something and people are hailing you, I don't think you need to allow that credit to get into your head and start to misbehave. If you could open your mouth and call on these such unprintable names that you call them, that shows the kind of Yoruba man that you are. I do not see any reason that will make me describe Ibaale, who is of lower rank to the traditional ruler's rank with such unprintable names. If I cannot do that to Ibale, why should I say such a thing to an Oni? It is not good. It does not portray anybody as an Omoluabi, as a man of Yoruba virtues and values. In any case, if you are fighting for the liberation of the people, this is the responsibility that is self saddled You chose to and for you to succeed. You need the same people that you are representing, otherwise you would not succeed. Is this the way you are going to get the support of the people you are representing? When you start attacking the same people, people will back out. That is just it. Whether I like it or not, some people are following you because of the same money. They will back out. Also on the threat of violence, Mr. Lafari said, well, he said in the video that is well circulated and the video must have gotten to security agents who would see beyond what we are seeing. It is a threat to life. If you say that if somebody is going, you are going to relay that person and fire him. If you are bold enough to say that to anybody, not to talk of even an onion of Ife, I believe that security agents will see that as a threat to life. While we are not ready to report any matter to security agents, I believe they will know what to do. This was what he said. Mr. Adiyemon's popularity recently rose in the southwest after he led an attack against a Fulani community leader in Oyo State, whom he accused of harboring Fulani headers involved in criminal activities. The headers farmers' clashes are rampant in part of Oyo and other states in the country, mainly caused by nomadic headers grazing their cattle on the farms of residents on the farms of residents. The situation has gotten worse with some of the nomadic headers engaging in kidnapping, murder, rape, thus infuriating many Nigerians. Following the repeated attacks in the Barakwa area of the state, Mr. Adeyemo issued an ultimatum to Edsman in the area. When the ultimatum expired, he led some use to the house of the head of the Fulani community in Igogon town, Abdukadri Sali. Mr. Sali was chased out of the community and his house and cars got burnt. The Seriki Fulani has since relocated to Bora State with his family. The warlord, Mr. Adeyemo, on Monday also visited Ogun State to continue his self-appointed mandate of chasing Fulani headers out of the state, with the state government saying it never asked for his help. However, just some hours ago, Ibo in an interview denied ever insulting the monarch, saying that I did not insult the army, and he also begged him to forgive him if he had said anything that appeared as an insult. And these were his words. They said I insulted the of Ife and the monarch as well as the Ulubo have spoken on the phone. The Yoruba tradition doesn't permit the insult of others. But because I was pained by the issue, my tongue was caught up in the moment. I spoke according to how pained I was. It wasn't the Oni alone I directed my words at. I also did to other elders. It is a case of father and child. And the monarch have spoken as well as the Ulubo. I did not insult the Oni. And if it appears as if I did, you should forgive me. We have come to the end of this episode. We are Kwamwan's daughter. Dami Mashao kicked against those who are for Sunday Igbo's movement as they are donating some money for him. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.